Hello, in this video I'll show you how to install Debian Linux into OCI. This is the video part of this blog tutorial. Okay, so first thing that you need to do is to go to a website that where you can go and download Debian. I am using Oikiboskis for this. I'll go to the Debian 11, yeah. I'll select VMware and I will download the desktop image in here, yeah, on 64 bit VMDK file. After the file is downloaded, I have gone to object storage, to buckets. In here, I already have a bucket created, it's called ISO, but I can also put a VMDK files and so on. I upload the Debian file yeah, that I downloaded in here, will be uploaded in here. It's gonna take around two minutes to upload the 5GB based on your bandwidth. After the file is uploaded, you go to compute, you go to custom image and in here you click import image the import image and it, you need to specify it's Linux you specify what is the bucket where the file was uploaded okay so I'll go to ISO and I'll select the VMDK file in here image type is VMDK okay I move down I select power virtualize mode and I click import image this is gonna take around 10-15 minutes after the image is created yeah in there you click on it, the custom image is created, yeah, you click on the custom image and you click create instance. Now, you select, you give the name, yeah, Teapot, it's my yeah, next uh, blog tutorial that I'll have created in here, yeah, so I'll select, yeah, and then uh, AD1, I don't change anything on security, for now, I, will, I don't need more than one OCPU and 16 GB of RAM, I need to select the network, as my machine will run in a private subnet with a load balancer in front of it, yeah, I will select this. I will upload an uh, SSH key just to not get an error in there, yeah, because this is a, um, a, a private uh, image, yeah, so it will not add the SSH key in here, but it needs to be done manual later. And I'll press create. So, this is how simple, yeah, you can create this image. I will pause it for a few seconds, yeah, because there are still some steps that you need to do before you are able to connect to this machine on uh, SSH, okay? Or if you want to use the console connection, yeah, to connect with uh, a VNC and do the um, the steps, the next steps. Okay, the instance was created, so I can go to console connection now. In here, I can create a local connection. I will upload my public file, yeah, my public uh, key for this. I'll click create console connection. Okay, now that the console connection is up and running, I'll copy the VNC connection for Linux Mac. If you have Windows, yeah, you can also copy that one. Open an uh, iTerm, yeah, connection. Okay, paste it in there, yeah. So one thing that I need to do to change, yeah, before uh, running this command is to go to localhost and instead of port 5900, put 5901. Okay, because 5900 is already used on my Mac. Okay, in here I need to allow this. Yeah, I specify that's okay. I have no error on this. So that means that I will be able, yeah, to connect on local host, yeah, to that machine. So what I'm gonna do in here, SSH. Okay, the user is OS boxes. Oh, sorry, <laughs> this is is VCM command, so I need to start VCM viewer. It's not a normal connection. So on VCM viewer, if I'm gonna go on this, yeah, the connection will start in here. And the initial password for this is osboxes.org. Yeah, same as the username. If you are taking yet yeah, the image from other location, you should look for the other image uh, username and password. First thing that I'm gonna do on this machine, I will type in here terminal. I'll start a terminal and in here, I will change the password for this. OK, 
okay so you are up and running on this machine next step will be to install ssh okay if you want to go and uh, use additional things yes yeah? so next command will be in here to sudo apt install ssh okay we can confirm the installation sudo systemctl start sshd sudo systemctl enable sshd oh sorry it's not sshd it's ssh so now yeah we have the ssh service up and running and we are able yet yeah, it will start always when the machine is restarted and so on next step will be to configure sshd config file and allow access only with uh, port uh, only with using uh, keys instead of using passwords but because it's a demo yeah i will leave it the default one and i only enable yet yeah, this uh, 422 for connection at this point because later the machine will use another uh, port yeah, for ssh okay so this is the file the configuration file and in here you see password authentication i will allow it okay yeah i'll modify the file okay and again again i'll not change anything this time so now if i want to connect yet to the machine i should be able to do do it by using ssh okay so i can go to identity and security i can go to the bastion server i can create a new session in here okay i will use a safe port forwarding i'll select the instance yeah i will leave port 22 i'll upload my key this time again yeah i'll create the session and on the machine yeah even because i did such changes i also need to restart the service yeah okay so port forwarding is up and running in here i'll copy ssh command let's go in here use this one i'll paste the command in here okay i will remove the private key part from the beginning and also instead of port 22 this time i'll use port 222 as port 22 is already used by something else okay so we can put it something like this okay i'll remove the private key from here minus y okay no error so that is okay so that means i can go ssh voice boxes at local host space minus t do 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 okay giving me an error because the fingerprint is not in there yeah so i haven't finished yet the proper configuration for the ssh config so in here it should maybe let me do something else ssh minus t gen okay i will also generate a file in there and now sudo minus h ssabc ssh sshd dot config and in here yeah i missed this part yeah i did the right configuration part for 22 listen okay and in here i should also allow password authentication yeah it is to yes so 
I'm just gonna take this nano, control X, save it. Yes, and again, let's restart the service. And let me try again this. This is an issue with the connection. Let's do something like this. Let's start this one again. And let's try it again. Post key verification. So it is an issue with the key. Yeah, because I'm not configured the host correctly on my computer. Anyway, this is not the scope of this uh, connection because I still have access to the machine through VNC. So uh, yeah, I will not do troubleshooting and changing it on my computer for this part. So thank you and see you on my next video.